Alright guys, car racer here. Probably echo. I can't tell with this mic, but I'm out here trying to get a couple shots of Orion Nebula. These are uh, 15 second shots. I might be able to try. I don't have my telescope uh, real aligned right now, so it's probably going to move on me. It's definitely moving. I'm going to drop it. That was a 20 second. Go down to about 15. Hit a single. It's really cold out here. Still a little too much. I'm gonna go down to ten. Do a single. So that you're looking at the core of the Orion Nebula. Now once I get it set good, I can get and take as many pictures as I want and then stack them and get a really awesome picture. Right now my CCD temperature, the camera sensor, is minus 4.6 Celsius. So it's pretty cold. Let me try one in RGB to see what it looks like. Turn that down to low. Let's try it on high. Pretty blown out. Go back to medium. So a 10 second one. I'm going to go ahead and do a loop here. Oh, I don't want to do a loop. I want to do a sequence. So I need to go make me a folder. And it will be one, one, sixteen. Now I really need to make another folder called Light Frames. I'm just going to call it Light. I definitely don't want to sit out here for 200 photos. I'm just going to go about 20, 20 10 second photos. Yeah, it's pretty windy out here, too. Yeah, my telescope, I definitely need to align it better. I'd like to bring my Canon Rebel out. It's gets a huge swath of the sky compared to this tel this camera. It's an actual deep space camera, and the other one's just a DSLR. But it, it gets a huge swath of the sky. I haven't tried to live stream it yet, but. definitely going to make a nice picture. I wish I could have centered it a little better. Yeah, pretty bl pretty blown out core. Pretty crazy looking. See all that dark nebula right here. Super hot center. Turn it on low. 
that's usually about what I like it to look like when I'm taking shots and then when I stack it and do dark frames it'll take out the noise take out all the uh, oblong star shots we'll just get rid of all them yeah my telescope's moving quite a bit that is the natural colors right there I never really tried RGBs with this camera I usually shoot them in raw a lot more information on the photos just want to do a little quick video see what I can come up with here I also have a program called deep sky stacker live and I can't get to the icon right now I could be stacking it as we're filming it and then you get a really good idea what the picture is going to come out like Man, I think I got a train coming. That's going to shake everything. Cold first night of 2016. Luckily, I got me a little space heater here. Keeping my legs and hands warm. check test that's weird it's not working right if I disabled that I think it's working anyway we'll leave it there I got two more pictures for it to take Stop the okay. We so I know how to okay. So that's we turn this down to one second at a single. Let's go to about five seconds. Might be pretty good. I think I'll do another loop at five seconds or another sequence. Let's turn this down to five. This won't take too long.
all right so this is done I'm gonna go ahead and stop this uh, I'm shooting between a tree right now whoa what's that um, wow what the hell is that we do another sink or another let me loop it a little bit longer see if I can it probably took me too long to get that started again whoa it's down there now I don't see nothing flying crazy so it just went through the screen I'm pretty sure we're in a lot of meteors and comets are going right now that's pretty crazy yeah it's too bad it's going behind a tree because I'd be able to get a huge swath of the sky at the other camera, but damn trees in the way. So I'm going to find a different target. I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording unless I, something else starts coming through the screen.